What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. So let's continue our discussion about Revit 2024 for structural design. So this time we're going to continue our discussion from our last exercise wherein we created a curved grid. So this time we are going to use that to create our curved beam. All right. Okay, so let's add curved beam to the entryway of the our structure. So here, in this area here. So I'm going to open the second floor. And then after that, I'm going to select here tile views or I can just type WT. That's the shortcut. So here's my 2D view and here's my 3D view. So I'm going to zoom into this area here so I can see my model in 3D and 2D drawing as well. Alright, so let's do this. So this will gonna be a short video. So I'm just gonna show you how to create a curved beam. Alright, so let's select the structure. And then let's look for the structure panel. And then let's look for the beam. So I'm going to select the beam. And then after that, from the properties, you can see the properties here. You can click the drop down arrow, by the way, if you want to change the type. But for this one, I'll just use the default W wide flange W12 by 26. Okay, so I'm going to use this. And then from the draw panel, I'm going to select uh, start and radius arc. So let me click this. Alright, so again, the placement is level 0 to floor. Structural usage is automatic. Chain is checked. Radius is unchecked. And then 3D snapping is unchecked. Okay, so I'm going to click the intersection of 0.5 and B.1 grid. So let me click this. So that's my first point. And then I'm going to pick the intersection D.1 and uh, 0.5 grid. So let's click this. There's my second point. And then I'm going to pick my uh, curb grid as my reference for my curb beam. So I'm going to select this. And there you go. So as you can see, there's now my curved beam. Okay, so I'm going to select here modify to terminate the tool. And that's it. So this here's now my uh, curved beam. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to modify this one. So I'm going to modify my curved beam. Okay, so this beam that i have here so i'm going to select this one and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change or i'm going to copy the settings of this straight uh, structural framing or beam so i'm going to copy the z justification and the offset value of minus five inches all right so let's do this so i'm going to because as you can see this beam here and then the curved beam that i have created just now they are not aligned right so they are not aligned so this one is a bit uh, above than this beam here so i'm going to select my curved beam okay and then after that from the instance properties i'm gonna look for the z justification so as you can see it's set to top so i'm gonna change the z offset value to minus five inches oops minus five where's my number minus five inches all right and then after that i'll just select your apply and then let's look what will happen there you go so they are now aligned Okay, so that's it for this very short video. So that's how you create your curve beam. So you can use the arc tool for that. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, comments, you can just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.